Ya, jadi nama saya Rainier Wardana Arjanto dan saya adalah uh, murid di Sekolah British School Jakarta. Uh, dan saya sekarang di kelas 12. Dan uh, I founded Artemi di tahun uh, 2020. Jadi more about us, uh, we're basically a non-profit organization that focuses on innovation, creativity, and the appreciation of both conventional art and modern art. So we are concerned with children who have limited access, especially those who are considered uh, disabled, neglected, and marginalized by the wider community. Uh, we believe that everyone has the right to express their work without being limited by the social limitations that hinder them. And lastly, we also seek to promote creativity and provide educational opportunities for the underprivileged communities in Indonesia. So what do we do? Uh, we basically provide a platform where these children can sell their artwork, where uh, the money fully goes to them. Uh, we do this because we want to promote art and we also frequently We want to give donations to the wider community. Uh, to help, you could donate or, or you could buy the artwork from the website or maybe you, you can uh, sell your artwork as, as a vendor, which I will explain later. Uh, so I created the art of me because I believe that you know, everyone has the potential uh, to make really good artwork and including those who are considered as disabled, neglected, and marginalized by the wider community. And I believe that uh, you know, these children should have a, large, uh, a lot more opportunities to sell their artwork. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. There's, okay. So our vision is to uh, basically see the underprivileged children and in Indonesia to have larger educational opportunities and to provide a platform where they could sell their artwork successfully. And our mission is we want to organize social activities, uh, charities, and provide education to children who are considered disabled, neglected, and marginalized by the wider community so that they continue to work both conventionally and modernly according to the times. And we, our mission as well is to promote creativity and provide educational opportunities across all Um, underprivileged communities in Indonesia. Yeah, uh, there's, okay. So yeah, so one of the projects we uh, made is uh, NFT charity. Uh, basically, NFTs are non-fungible tokens and uh, it's basically like digital art. And we basically uh, decided to Uh, craft some of these paintings as NFTs and uh, sold them to OpenSea websites. Yes. Yeah, there's, okay. So, uh, yeah, so our community is that we have around 200 of uh, these children who are selling their artwork and we hope to expand further on. Yeah, there's, uh, so these are some of our donations that we've done throughout the year. Uh, And we've also gained a lot of celebrity and public figure support um, over the years. Yeah. So, yeah, there's, uh, if, if you see from the next slide, you'll see uh, the paintings, examples of paintings. And you could view all of these paintings on the website. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, We basically sell some merchandise, but these are not finalized yet, and we have not um, put them in the market. So it's something in the future that we want to do. And also, uh, we've invented like a multi-vendor space where uh, people in Indonesia, they could sell their artwork on the website. So if you actually look at the website, uh, you will see a sell your art feature And basically, uh, if you want, you could sell your art. And basically, with the commission that we get, uh, we'll donate it to uh, basically orphanages, uh, special needs schools, 
and also schools that have that don't have a lot of resources. Yeah. yeah. Jadi, uh, yeah, that's it from me. Uh, thank you for your time. Terima kasih. Okay, thank you so much for the wonderful presentation, Rainier. It was truly an insightful session. And the artworks that you highlighted were also really beautiful. And it actually really made us really curious to know a bit more about you and the organization that you started. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, so I would like to ask several questions, maybe to get to know you and art me uh, even better. So maybe uh, we would like to know what was like your initial motivation uh, in establishing art me, art, art and me. So maybe like something in particular happened that maybe like touched your heart and like, you know, you wake up in the morning and think I'm going to set up this organization. Yeah, yeah. So I actually... Um like really like painting and making art, which is like kind of what inspired me to make this uh, because like there really isn't a platform where uh, these children could sell their artwork. So I thought of making this uh, platform where they could sell their artwork. And it's, you know, it's a, it's a really beautiful thing. And I also, I, yeah, I see like in Indonesia a lot of days, um, like there are a lot of, um, like schools that don't have, you know, a lot of educational resources. And I thought that uh, we could also help support that along with uh, promoting creativity. So I guess the, yeah, that's the motivation uh, because, you know, there are there, like a lot of people still don't have access to education and you know, education is something really important along with uh, selling artwork. So yeah, yeah. Okay, so that was your motivation to create Art and Me. It was for those who don't really have access to the resources that we may take for granted, maybe. And right. so who can actually join the Art and Me community or who can um, sell their paintings on the website or platform that you've created? Mm. Yeah, so anyone could basically sell their artwork. Um, we've invented a multi-vendor platform, uh, which... Uh, we've actually developed for like six months now. <laughs> yeah, it's a very hectic process, but uh, we've uh, yeah we've decided to make a multi-vendor space where maybe artists in Indonesia they can sell their artwork, and uh, the commission then would go to us, and we would use that to uh, we would spend it on you know those educational resources or the artwork. Sorry, or the or you know, painting equipment basically, and then we will, we might yeah we will teach um, you know the children uh, and the schools like how to paint, and then basically sell them on our artwork. So basically, like anyone, uh, we haven't really tested it yet, <laughs> but basically anyone could if they want they could sell their artwork in the uh, in the website. Okay, yeah. interesting. Including so, um, the special. Um, so for the website you've been uh, you've been mentioning about, like, can we know what website or platforms uh, that you you're using or developing to sell? Yeah, yeah, artwork? yeah. I'll put it in the chat. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. So this is the website that we have made. Uh, it basically has everything, but it's not done yet. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Eh, jadi saya bisa share screen nggak? Uh, oh, I, oh, I can share now. Okay, yeah. Okay. So, okay. So, if you see here, yeah, this is the the uh, website. Jadi, yeah. Uh, basically, we've we categorize it into two. Uh, the community artists is like the people who want to voluntary seller artwork and the special artists belong to um like the children and the yeah the orphanages and the special need uh, children so actually yeah the wi-fi is quite bad no <laughs> oh, see yeah so uh these paintings yeah we saw them through uh these paintings they come from ypsc yaya san felicia and in your kids yaya san Scholar Padi, and etc and if you want, you could create an account and then you could 
uh, you know, sell your artwork where you have art details. Yeah. So that's more about the website. And also, uh, you could see uh, here, you know, we have the, you could sell your art. So you could sell your art, you know, if you want to help uh, support the, our cause. And, you know, uh, we call them community artists. Yeah, for donation. So here, uh, okay, this is maybe not finalized yet, but basically, yeah, we haven't, uh, I haven't personally tested it yet. Did he? Yeah, I have to test the loop. And then, uh, but basically, we also sell, like, anyone could sell their paintings and it could really help the organization. Yeah. So if you want, you could, you know, sell your art here and you have to make an account. And then, yeah. So, yeah, that's about the website. Oke, okay, keren banget ya buat teman-teman. <laughs> uh, mungkin yang partisipasi di sini mungkin bisa uh, check out their website terus uh, juga bisa nanti kalau pas sudah jadi udah mulai apa beli-beli uh, karya lukisan dari uh, teman-teman itu karena uh, this is for a great cause. Oke, okay, yeah. maybe uh, I would like to ask another question. Uh, okay. Have you ever had like um, Any interesting experiences while setting up this organization? Maybe any memorable stories you would like to share? Mm, memorable stories. I think it was like the first time we set up the competition. You know, uh, the first thing we did is we actually this this uh, I I was not anticipating you know making like a big shop. <laughs> you know, uh, we started small. We started small by we basically started as a competition. So. Uh, basically like a competition where, you know, we try to promote creativity among the community and, um, and, you know, we had like a lot of participants and like the competition went really well. We had to like, uh, you know, assess each uh, individual. And I guess like that was a, such a proud moment because I didn't really anticipate that like a lot of these kids would like actually join. So it was something really cool. Uh, Yeah. From, yeah, from the orphanages and uh, special needs schools. So. Hey, thank you for sharing that memorable story. It must be wonderful to have like these little milestones and seeing that the organization that you created is actually being appreciated by the wider public. So I also like to ask um, another question. Throughout the entire time that you've started Art and Me, what achievements has Art and Me actually achieved? Yeah, yeah, no, that's a good question. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, we've we've done a lot of things actually. Uh, actually, if you look at the look at the blog space, uh, we've uh, specifically made the blog so that people could see like kind of the impact that we've had. But uh, in short summary, uh, so what we've done is, uh, you know, we've had the art competition, um, like I've previously mentioned, where. Uh, you know, we've tried to promote, uh, you know, creativity. So what we've done is uh, we've actually like, contacted a lot of the schools, the orphanages, and then we basically, you know, ran this huge art competition uh, where, uh, you know, they would receive uh, cash prizes. But also uh, we then, from all those paintings that they made, we, uh, we sold them on their website. Uh, through the through the the vendor platform uh, also yeah we've also uh yeah we've also you know had a lot of donations so you know specifically this part uh covid 19 uh you know during 2021 and we've also you know supported a lot of orphanages uh you know through a lot of health supplies you know during covid 19 and educational resources so Uh, yeah, that is what we've done. <laughs> yeah, and we've also made an NFT. Uh, but although that is, yeah, that is something we still need to prove. But basically, uh, that is like what we've done so far. Basically, yeah, and we hope to you know continue to expand. Uh, you know, our plan is to like basically teach uh, some of these uh, children, and then we hope to sell the the artwork on their website. So we still have a you know quite. A lot of things to do, uh, but we hope to achieve them uh, relatively soon. So yeah, that's.
Oh, that's great. Can we like, can you like share what are your future goals and targets? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Jadi, uh, yeah. Um, future goals. Yeah. So our future goals is to obviously uh, like, you know, make the, you know, the multi-vendor uh, like really big and hopefully, you know, a lot of people will, uh, you know, sell their artwork because I think it is quite a difficult business, <laughs> but, you know, uh, I still have to experiment. And and I think, yeah, and we also hope to uh, teach a lot, you know, teach um, paintings, sorry, how to paint. And also uh, we hope to raise like a lot more money so that we could help support, you know, uh, the orphanages, the uh, special needs kids, uh, you know, Down syndrome. And yeah, so th those are our future plans. We also aim to like make some like products in the future, but uh, it's something like we still have to develop, like just to get an additional revenue stream, uh, basically. So yeah, that's our future plan. You know, still a lot, but yeah, we, we want to achieve all that soon. Okay, so there's still a lot of experimenting to do. Yeah, <laughs> it, not as much, but uh, yeah, there's still, we still, yeah, we, we're quite an ambitious organization and like we hope to, you know, have the, the largest impact, you know, among the community. So I would say that. Yeah, yeah I hope everything goes well. <laughs> yeah, thank, you. Thank, you, thank you. Uh, maybe lastly, uh, we would like to hear uh, maybe a message from you that you're trying to convey uh, to the community and maybe the audience here who are watching, um, maybe like what kind of impact you're trying to create or whatever message you're trying to give. Wait, so the question is like, what's my message? Uh, okay. To the society. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, that, that, that's, a, that's a very uh, interesting question. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, uh, my message uh, to everyone, to society, uh, would be to, you know, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, to join our community, um, because you know this is something that is growing, uh, and uh, you know, uh, you know, specifically to, yeah, to I guess like uh, never stop being, you know, creative and uh you know like trying to paint a lot because it is a good hobby and it is a good skill uh but basically the the main message i i would say would be to like yeah to not give up and to you know continue painting uh but also to like join our community so uh i think that would be our message because like we're trying to uh you know like help with education and you know, uh, so that's why, yeah, that's the message. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for your last message, uh, Rainier. Art and me, keren banget ya. Teman-teman semua yang hadir di sini, nggak hanya lukisan aja nih, tapi uh, ternyata karya musik, bahkan karya seni lainnya, kayak membuat gelas, baju, topi itu juga bisa loh. Nah, nanti dana-dana yang dikumpulkan ini akan diberikan ke orang-orang yang memang membutuhkan ya. Yes, nah, uh, jadi kami dari Social Action uh, bersama, bersama dengan Art Me akan uh, melakukan penggalangan dana nih, teman-teman, melalui lelang karya lukisan anak-anak Down Syndrome yang bergabung di Potats Pik Yogyakarta. Nah, untuk teman-teman panitia, boleh bantu nih di uh, share screen untuk foto-foto lukisan yang akan dilelang. Nah itu ya. Nah itu teman-teman. Jadi karya-karya ini itu udah specially made uh, by anak-anak uh, dengan Down syndrome. Lucu-lucu banget. <laughs> nah nanti karya-karya itu bakal dilelang di Instagram artandme.ind uh, dari mulai hari ini sampai tanggal 18 Agustus 2022. Nah, nanti uh, buat teman-teman langsung aja ke pilih karya yang pengen dilelang, terus nanti uh, untuk uh, bidding harganya bisa langsung di kolom komentar. Terus nanti untuk harga yang tertinggi akan terpilih pada tanggal 18 Agustus 2022. 
Nah, teman-teman nanti hasil penggalangan dana ini akan 100% diberikan ke Yayasan Potat Speak Yogyakarta gitu. Jangan lupa ya di lelang di rame ini. Iya, boleh langsung aja ke Instagram artandme.ind di situ kalian bisa menemukan karya-karya yang keren-keren banget dari teman-teman Potat Speak Yogyakarta. Nah, sayangnya nih Rainier waktu kita udah habis di sini padahal aku masih pengen banget bincang-bincang asik terkait art and me sama kamu. Thank you once again Rainier for this brief but meaningful time with you as we listen to your story and the amazing organization you started. Terima kasih juga udah mau berkolaborasi dengan kami untuk bisa uh, melelang karya-karya ini. Semoga semua uh, dana yang berhasil digalang itu bisa membantu untuk Uh, untuk teman-teman dari Potat Speak Yogyakarta. Nah, tapi sebelum itu, aku mau memberi sedikit kenang-kenangan nih buat Rainier. Untuk Panitia, boleh dibantu share screen ya? Oke, okay, jadi this is a little bit of something from us for you. Uh, ini ada certificate of appreciation. Mungkin, mungkin kita boleh foto bersama ya? Untuk Panitia, boleh bantu dokumentasi? Oke, okay, aku izin untuk ambil dokumentasi dalam hitungan ketiga ya. Satu, dua, tiga. Boleh sekali lagi mungkin? Satu, dua, tiga. Oke, okay, terima kasih. Oke, okay. udah selesai nih sesi art gallery pada hari ini. Uh, terima kasih banyak untuk Rainier, udah meluangkan waktunya untuk uh, chat-chat sedikit sama kita. Nah, kalau Rainier udah kesibukan lain, boleh uh, leave Zoom kalau masih mau sama kita. Oke, okay. masih, bo masih boleh di Zoom. Oke, okay, mungkin selanjutnya aku serahkan kepada MC.